Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to be coloring a card that is going to show through in a vellum envelope. The stamp set is by a company that's new to me, Trinity Stamps. And these are the colors that I chose to use. I went with really bright colors because I knew I was gonna have it inside a vellum envelope. And I've stamped my little snail on one side of the card front and the other stamp, the, the little mailbox, on the other side, leaving enough room that I can imagine writing an address right across there. And I put snail mail up above it. You could also put it down below to leave yourself more room for writing on the envelope. You can even put the snail all the way off to the left of the page and the mailbox peeking in from the right of the page so that you have lots of room. I did find when I finished this whole project and I tried to write my mom's address in there that I had to write really small so that it would fit. So you might want to consider how big your handwriting is to be able to fit it in there. But I'm just using some really bright colors. One of the things about this project is since the envelope was going to have this kind of whitish sheen over the top of the front of the card, I still wanted it to be able to be seen through the envelope. So the postal carrier gets to enjoy the card and then when my mom gets it in the mail she'll get to enjoy it before she even opens the envelope. And that requires kind of having some bright colors. I wanted to make sure they were extra bright so I picked colors that were going to be even stronger than what I normally might on a card. And I'm using some really simple basic coloring as well. I'm not getting super fancy with the blending. I'll use a couple different colors to do some blending with, but I'm not getting real deep into making sure the shading is all perfect because really the whole idea is about making this visible when the mail comes and my mom opens her mailbox because my mom just moved and I wanted to send her a, an early piece of mail at her new place. And I'm gonna get to go see her in a very short period of time and possibly by the time this video goes live, maybe I have already done the trip. I end up making a lot of videos ahead of time and then juggle around the scheduling of them based on a lot of different factors. So I never completely know what date everything is going to get go live here on my YouTube channel. Some of you might sometimes see things and then the video disappears and that would often be why because I clicked the wrong button and something goes live before it's supposed to. So back to my little card. I wanted the scene to have some really bright colors so I gave it that really nice bright grass and doing the, the bright coloring on the little snail and the whole time I was thinking about how I wanted to highlight the place where the address will be written. So right now I've got a big white space there for, for writing that address in. You can also, depending on what stamps you're using, if you're not using this stamp set, you can draw a box and make just an empty white box have some room in order to write the address in. That'll draw the mailman's attention to that center spot but you do have to have some reason for having a big empty spot. And I realized that was gonna look kind of silly on the card when it's sitting on my mom's shelf, having a big white square in there. But if you design your card right, and depending on what elements you're using for the stamp, you could create a nice empty white space in the center that will still work on a card even if it's not in the envelope. But I decided to just fill in the color on the whole thing and then I took a black card base because I wanted that pop of color as well. When you put things on black, it tends to frame it really nicely. But I also now had this big giant blue area and I wanted to fix some of the areas that didn't get blended really perfectly. And I started trying to push clouds into it a little bit with my colorless blender. And especially in the areas where I don't know if you can really even see much of it here, on YouTube but I could see some streaks and some blobs and things. It's hard to get a really large flood of color using Copic markers. It, it's just not an easy thing to do. 
It's easier than with some other markers, but you can always end up with little weird blobby areas. So then I had these kind of blobby white clouds in there that didn't push out into the light blue as much as I would like. Usually when you're doing something with the colorless blender and pushing color away from where that colorless blender is, is inserting itself, it works better when you have a contrasting color so that you can see something. But here I wasn't getting enough contrast. I just had these blobs that now had a little darker area around them because when the color pushes out, it collects all of that ink around the edge. And then I thought, wait a minute, I've got pencils. So I took out a white Prismacolor pencil. You can use any brand of white pencil. And I colored the cloud in over top of all of that, including over top of that little edge where all that ink had collected around the outside edge. I can then blend the edges so that they fade into the white into that blue background from the white cloud, make them as soft as I want. Didn't have to fill in all the clouds with my white pencil, but could, you know, do it until I was happy with what I had come up with. And that worked much better for me. I liked that solution to my, my issue of not being able to color really smoothly with my, my Copic markers. To finish it off, I pulled out the to and from stamps from the stamp set and put the card inside of the envelope so that I could line them up perfectly to stamp on the front of the envelope. You could also just write those on there if you're using other stamp sets that don't have a to and from in them. And it was ready to roll and send to my mom. And I hope she likes it as much as I had fun making it. And I hope you liked it as well. If you did, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to do that because I put out lots and lots of videos. And I have lots of playlists. You can catch up on stuff from the past. And I will see you again soon in another video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.